I know you're ready. <laughs> Coach, congratulations. I don't know if you just want to start off with a, just an opening statement on the uh, on the victory. Yeah, I mean, obviously super exciting to get to the Sweet 16. Um, and we played amazing tonight. Um, we knew this was going to be a tough test and that we really had to step up our game. But um, the girls were unbelievable at work rate, our defensive work rate especially. I just thought really shut them down, limited their chances. and. Um, second half especially we turned it up a notch and you could just see the goal was coming. We were really pushing for it and um, it was amazing to get that first goal. The second one really gave us that breathing room to really pull out the win. So uh, amazing. We worked really hard for this. Uh, we knew we were capable of getting to that next weekend but um, super excited uh, with the season we had to really get one step closer to our goal, um, you know, moving on to that next stage. Did you kind of feel sooner or later that, you know, with, you know, in that second half with the pressure you were applying, sooner or later, you know, something was going to, something was going to break, you guys were going to break through? Yeah, I think we're, I mean, we were all over them, and um, I think, you know, we definitely have momentum there, um, and we are in their half for most of the, that beginning of the second, so we felt it coming, we were close on a couple shots, um, but fortunately Morgan, Got her leg up there and got the goal, but um, but yeah, certainly there's momentum. You see it coming, and it and we and we worked for it. I mean, we're all over them defensively, sprinting after these balls, and, and just really making it difficult for them to get out of the run and throw up that. Corby, did you kind of sense sooner or later you guys were going to get one, and they just kind of described the uh, you know how, how the, you know how the play developed with the ball? The first ten minutes of the second half, like we were all over them. They couldn't really get into our half. We were in their half the entire time. And our forward line, which was beating their back line, and when Sam turned and saw that ball, I knew, like, no matter what I had to get there, whether, like, it didn't matter what body part I was going to get onto it, I just <laughs> slid and got my toe on. And when it went in, that was just, like, the biggest relief because we were working for it more than anything. I, I, I think credit, she's not here, um, but I think credit has to go to Sam on that play because she made a great move around the defender. And even before that, she, you know, like, I, I think she got taken down in the box at one point. She was really creating a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities there. Maybe you can just talk about, you know, her role in that in setting that, that, that whole sequence. Uh, Sam has not given up since she's came back uh, her starting role since she's been injured. So yeah, today especially, like, she was coming back from the forward line to, like, our defensive half, winning it to doubling back. She has not given up every single play. And whether it was going to be a goal or support assist, like we knew that Sam Bob was going to get something today. Coach, what is it like having her back, getting her back in the lineup? You know, how does that, you know, it clearly makes you guys, it makes you guys a better team. Yeah, I mean, Sam's a special player, and um, you know, we had to play without her for a good um, second season. But you know, I think she's someone that just does so many little things and. You know, hasn't got a lot of credit, hasn't been on conference, but just um, is really out here to play for the team and just just works. And um, you know, I think when you're out and you miss part of your senior year, it means that much more every single opportunity you get. And I know that she's just grateful for every opportunity. But honestly, she's just been the unsung hero of this team, and um, you know, she had a tremendous game today. Nikki Day kind of turned it up a little bit there. Clearly, you know, going for the uh, for, for the tying goal. Just talk about what it was like, um, you know, in that that sequence. Probably from about maybe 18 minutes left to about 10 minutes left. They really they really put the pressure on you guys. Yeah, there was definitely a little stressful because you know they really wanted that goal to tie it. But I think we stayed calm and we defended as a team, which I think is one of our biggest strengths. It's not just the back line, even though our back line is insane and works incredibly hard. It starts from the lower nine all the way at the top. And as a team, we draw and we defend as a team, and that's why I feel so confident in our defensive capabilities. And I didn't really have to do that much today, which I was grateful for because of our team defending. But I think really that's like the important part when it comes to those stressful times, just staying calm and doing what we know we can defensively. But the times you had to do something, you were able to, you know, you, I, I really, you were able to make say, I really don't think you had a, a, yeah, a yeah. difficult save to make or something. So probably the best, I think probably their best chance was that shot that went wide. Yeah, across or whatever right. it was. Do you think how close did it come to the to the post or whatever? Did you? It was definitely pretty close. Um, it was definitely a dangerous opportunity for them. Um, I mean, 
glad it didn't go in, that's all I can say. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely did have some opportunities, some a little wide, but I think overall our team did really well in keeping them from getting very dangerous on the teams. Coach, one, their, their, coach or their coach said one thing that was impressive about was the way um, you uh, just kind of like counterattacked and, and, and put the pressure on it. After that sequence, I think it was right after a handball, they get the free kick, you guys clear it, and then you counterattack the other way, and that leads to, uh, to Keeley's goal. Yeah. I mean, you, you can just maybe talk a little bit about that, about maybe that being one of the strengths of your team, that, oh, that yeah. counterattack. I mean, the counter is our bread and butter. Um, I mean, we defend really, really hard as a unit, um, but we're fast, we're athletic, and um, we know how to take advantage of open space. And I, so I think that today um, we're able to take advantage of that a couple times. Like you said, the one led to a goal, but um, certainly that's that's who we are. and. Uh, I think we do a good job of, you know, taking advantage of that when we can. Bradley, the girls, this is the third time in four years you guys go into the to the Sweet 16. What does that mean to you? And, you know, what, what do you feel you guys, I know you don't know who you're playing yet, but or where, but what do you feel you have to do to uh, kind of, you know, maybe take that, take that next step? I mean, I think it's definitely a blessing to get this far, but I also think our team has worked for this all season. From the moment we came in in preseason, we knew that we had a special team this year. Um, it seemed like kind of all the puzzle pieces fit together for our team. We really were very strong, but I think we've worked really hard to get to this point. I think all we can really do is keep working hard to something we can practice and just have that mindset that we're here to win and do our best to try and do that. Yeah, like Nikki said, that coming preseason, we set goals for ourselves to go farther than this point. And going into today's game, like we knew we weren't done yet. We knew we were going to just keep pushing in and we work hard. And we play to our best ability, like we're just going to keep on going. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. All right.